Welcome to a very special episode of Talisman. Mm, no. Huzzah! No, no, no. I will eat your poop if you subscribe. Mm, no, not desperate enough. Hey, y'all, welcome to Talisman. No, 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 no. Greetings! No, that's just... Oh, God. Hey, folks, it's Grimwit from Natch Evil. All of my comments for the last Talisman video told me to be either the wizard or the troll. And I'm going to pick the wizard. That's right, all of the comments that I got. All of them. In any case, uh, let's see. Uh, no, no, we're going to be doing Power of the Mind, because I've already done training on everybody. And uh, for most of the non-nifty quest people, I've already got a talisman, as you can clearly see. The magical quest has been won. And I've found that this game is really easy on one player, which kind of defeats the purpose, so I'm just going to go through this real quick. And this probably won't won't take very long. Let's see, you crave power and aim to be the greatest wizard in the land. Increase your craft to ten points, including all modifiers. Any modifiers. Any modifiers. It says any right there, Mike. You can read it. Seek cards and encounters that will raise your craft. Goal. Raise your craft to ten. Uh, let's see here. Wizard is actually pretty simple, and it should be easy to raise his craft past ten. This shouldn't take very long. Let's do it. If I go too fast, tell me. Healing. The worst spell. Yay. What else we got? Acquisition. Let's see. Either gain one gold, acquire one of the following. Mule rafting. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, before we do anything, acquisition. We need to cast that right away. I want a mule. Mules are extremely useful, especially if I'm trying to get my craft up high. Let's see here. It doesn't actually matter where I go at this point. Ooh, Fraps is really chugging along here. Blizzard, yay! Okay, we need to think. All the Blizzard does is... I, sh I should have read that. I'm sorry. I'm going to read that out loud to people who haven't actually played this game. Winter has come with a vengeance. A Blizzard envelops the land. For two turns, you may only move one space per turn. The Blizzard then abates. Oh no. Basically, you don't roll dice. That actually is kind of a good card for me because it gives me more control over what I'm doing. Um, I could get out of here and possibly gain a craft. Hmm. Actually, let's try that. One in six chance. Oh! Talk about luck! Boom! Alright, we got four more points to do. Uh, let's see here. This space will do nothing, so there's no point going to it, because it's still a blizzard. And here I can draw a card and see what comes up. A wolf with a strength two. That makes us an even match. Okay, roll... I have a strength 2, plus 5 is a 7, and I beat him. Yay! Unfortunately, that does not help me gain craft. All that does is help me gain strength. What else can I do here? 4. I'm evil, right? That means I want to handle... Hmm. What are some places where I can increase my craft? The Mystic where I could become good or evil. Probably the village is the best place to do this. And I have three fate, which means I can re-roll the dice three times. Those times that I could not re-roll the dice before was, um... Well, basically, they rolled too high. A poltergeist! Poltergeist attaches itself. You, you must take it as a follower. It only affects to slow your movement to one space. Oh, no! You can rid it by crossing a river. I'm not too worried. There's a river, like, right there. Also, that gives me over to the Mystic. Awesome. Let's talk to this Mystic. Maybe he'll make me evil. Okay, I, a 1 in 6 chance if I roll a 5. I'm going to roll this dice twice, because I have a fate of 3, and it's worth the reroll. 1, become evil. That does nothing, literally. 3, ignored. Oh, no. I. Yeah. Well, at least nothing happened. Let's cross the river, because this is more exciting. I like the random chance. There goes the poltergeist back into the deck, and... 
Pool of Life. Place four life points here. Basically, this just gives me an extra life, which now makes my heal spell even more useless. <laughs> Back to the Mystic we go. Mystic, give us craft. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, Mystic. Oh my god, you're so nice. Uh, two. On to the graveyard. Let's see, we can gain a fate, gain a spell, or be ignored. The f spell might help. Yeah, we'll pray. Five. Gain one fate. Um, alright, well, we can use that. Let's see, what else can we do here? I'm not even going to bother with the sentinel. But those ruins over there look pretty good, and this is closer to the ruins. Let's go ahead and head over to this card. Pestilence! Lose a life! Thank you! You have no idea how much I needed that. Maybe I can get rid of this heal spell. And let's see, can the tavern do anything to my craft? No, but it can get me drunk. Hmm. Thank you, no. Back to the mystic. Hey, mystic. Uh, actually, I need a five, Mystic. Okay, I'm ignored. Apparently, you can only do so much to the Mystic before he's just kind of like, Get out of my face, you know? Mr. Evil Mage, get out of here. What's your name, anyway? I told him, Marlin. Okay. A five again. Hmm. Let's head over in this direction. Draw one card. Maybe it'll be somebody. Nope. You do not need to roll a die for the force unless you wish to. You choose to roll if you accept the results. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, we want to roll, which makes that follower kind of useless. And five again. Back to the mystic. You think you'd be sick of me by now. Mystic, give me craft. Ooh. Spell or a craft. Spell or a craft. Spell. Alchemy. I have zero items. Yay, another useless spell. What's here? Why is that here? Oh, I don't need more life. I need less life. Okay, to the fields. Bags of gold. The pity bags of gold isn't an object. I'd like to see if I could use alchemy to turn bags of gold into bags of gold. Ooh. Back to the graveyard. Maybe we can get another spell. Uh, nope. Eh, I'll accept being ignored for now. And back to the mystic we go. Ooh, I can buy something from the blacksmith. And none of this stuff helps me. Nope. Get rid of my fate. Eh, at least we get another spell. What do we got? Invisibility. Huh. Okay, it's time to head over to these ruins. Or at least near them, because they can... Uh, it's a good way to burn off adventure cards. Spectre, craft three. You are in trouble, Spectre. I have a craft of seven. There is nothing you can do, no number you can roll, except for nine. Son of a bitch. <laughs> now, why is this glowing? Oh, because invisibility is still there. Mm, nah, I don't need invisibility just now. I might need it later. Wanted to go there. You, you know what? Is there anything here? Gain a craft. There's, I could try it from the Enchantress. Of course, she could turn me into a toad, which is less than optimal. Well, let's go here anyway. To the fields. Hey, it's a siren. A siren can be heard throughout the region. You must miss a turn. Ah, eh, son of a bitch. I can go to the tavern, or... Okay, these crags... At worst, I'm attacked by a spirit, which will not count as a trophy, unfortunately. At best, I can gain a strength. 
Neither of these help me with my craft, so that means it's to the tavern I go, where I can get drunk, which would be awesome. Ooh, Boatman offers to ferry you to the temples in the next move. Hmm, let's take a look at the temple real quick. Uh, there is a six, a one out of six chance that I will gain a craft, and everything else is less than that. Hmm. I say we do it. To, uh... To quote some people, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, let's see. That's a five, which means... Enslave, stay here for... Ah, uh, crap. Ah. <sighs> Yay, I think... Ooh, actually, I used to think this was a horrible space, but then I've played this game, and I realized that this is the best space. You see? You see? Okay, we're going to lose a life. We're going to fight a shadow, and we're going to gain a magic belt. Um, okay. Bye. Just roll anything except for six. Yay. That's another one. Bites the dust. And we gain a magic belt. And the magic belt is semi-useful. Let's see what else we can do around here. Hmm. No. Or we can go here. No. I don't really see any reason to. Or we can go down here again. Hmm. I think this woods over here is probably our best bet, because it's pretty much like a normal space. Ooh, magic portal. I'm not going to use the magic portal. Back to Hidden Valley we go. One, two, three, and let's see what we got here. Mercenary. I have the gold to use that. I might, might get that. I can use the cross of the chapel, I guess. And the Fountain of Wisdom is what I really want. So let's go ahead and take care of the mercenary first. Do I want him? He's, he is one gold just to gather and one gold to actually use in a fight. I might be able to use him, and I don't really use gold for all that much. Um, if you are evil, you do not lose a life in the chapel. If you are good, you do not use a life in the graveyard. You may choose to automatically destroy the spirits without restoring... No, we won't be doing that, but we will be taking the cross and Font of Wisdom for craft points. We have a new location to try and land on. Hmm. Two more points to go. I think I'll go here. This is just a draw card area. Imp. Damn it. To the crags. Uh... I don't have any fate points to reroll. So here I am in the crags. I hate the crags. If I'm lucky, I'll roll a one, which I can easily handle, because it's just a craft of four that I have to fight. Lost for one turn, safe, no effect on four or five, or I can gain a strength. Let's see what happens. Safe, no effect. Yay! Now, if I'm really lucky, oh crap. I guess I go to the woods. Another mule. I, yeah, it raises my maximum. Huh. Gain a life, or something else might happen. Let's try this something else. Ooh, I would like a craft, please. I love those cards. One craft to go. Hmm. Magical Vortex. Oh no, all my spells are gone. But since a, I'm a wizard, I can get a spell at the start of your turn before you move. Take a look at the top five cards of the adventure deck. Let's do it. Uh, let's see, a witch. Hmm. Might be able to get a craft from the witch in that turn. A sorcerer. She sets up a shop here. He can give me spells. Cool. A sword, which I don't need. A wraith, which I can defeat. And Metastopheles. Metastopheles in the mission of this land. If you are evil, gain one craft. So in five turns, at the very minimum, or maximum, I will win this quest. Alright. 
and we get divination again, which is pointless, but I can't cast it a second time. Um, we want to head towards the ruins to get fast, uh, faster thing to Metastopheles. Hey, witch, what's up? What you got for me, witch? Number five, gain a spell. Don't mind if I do. Psionic Blast. Cast it on yourself when you are engaged in battle. Adding your starting craft to your strength until the end of battle. Which basically makes me crazy powerful. Next turn. We'll do this one just so we can be kind of near-ish to the ruins. Sorcerer sets up a shop. Um, hmm. No, we won't buy a spell. Which reminds me. He's right there, and then I'd fight the devil after that. Awesome. And then a bag of gold. One. Let's head to these woods. A sword. We knew that was coming. Oh, this is the wrong deal. It's all my followers. I thought I still had that alchemy spell for some reason. My brain must have short-circuited. Here we go. And a Wraith Craft 5, which we can easily beat because we have a Craft of 9. Beat that, Wraith. You did not. Oh. Oh. You know, I just realized. Yes. 5, 6, 7. That gives me... And I won. 33 turns. Which is only worth 2 points, apparently. Hooray. Okay. We got two more quests that we can do for this game before I call it wraps, and I'm probably not going to do more than two more quests. Leave a comment telling me which character I do next, guys. Uh, we've already done the the wizard and the troll, so how... Well, I guess I'll go back to the troll if you guys really want me. So we're looking for the warrior, the troll, the druid, the wizard, the monk, the assassin, the elf, the dwarf, the priest, or the prophetess, which is really, really broken. Leave your comments, and I will see you guys whenever whatever happens next.